Hello and welcome to each one of you to this new session of online lessons. Without further ado, let's begin. Today we are going to look at the correction of the May-June 2017 paper 1-2. So question number one in this paper we need to have uh, the name, name three different, different uh, buses three different buses that are used in the patch decode execute cycle. So the three buses are the address bus, the control bus, and the data bus. Question number two, uh, two examples of primary, secondary, and offline storage. So primary storage, we have the RAM and ROM. Secondary storage, we'll be having a, a hard disk drive and a solid state drive. And concerning off the line, we're going to have CD, DVD, Blu-ray, flash drive, SD card, and so on. So we have a lot of different examples for off the line. You choose any of these two examples. Question number three. So we had to do a matching. So inject printer, this will go to droplet of ink or propelled onto paper. LCD screen, flat panel display uses uh, modulating properties of liquid crystals. 2D cutter, high powered laser that uses XY plane, LCD, flat panel display that uses an array of light emitting diodes as pixel, and lastly laser printer, electrically charged powdered ink is transferred onto paper. Question number four, you had to describe uh, the different error detection methods. The first error detection method is the priority check what happened in it so we are going to count the number of ones this should either be even for even parity and odd for odd parity if uh, parity is incorrect then an error has been detected in check digit it is an extra digit calculated from the original digits of a code number and added to the code number so that its accuracy can be subsequently be checked by a computer program check sum this is calculated from data at the sender's end and is attached to the data before transmission. Uh, at the receiver's end, the checksum is recalculated and errors show up in different checksum. Lastly, ARQ, so it is a system that makes use of acknowledgement and timeout. If the data has been received, then acknowledgement is used. If data is not received, then the data is re-requested until a timeout is reached. Question number five, so we had to find the denary value of 57 and we had to show our working. So our working, we had to, we have to build up a table with the different weights of the binary numbers. So 57, we're going to remove 52, uh, 32, sorry, 50, uh, 57 minus 32, we'll be getting 25 from which we'll remove 16, we'll be getting 8, from which we'll be removing 8, we'll be getting 1, and 1 will be getting in the last part, and all the other slots that are empty will be adding zeros to them. So the value, the answer for 57 will be 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. Part B, we had to Put this into the following registers, so the answer is as follows. And uh, part C, we have uh, to give two other uses for binary numbers stored in a register. So we can say uh, for data, instruction, ASCII value, or a number. And part D, uh, what is the hexadecimal value for 0011? 1010. So, so this is 3A. Question number six. So identify what type of barcode is an example and explain how the data is stored in this type of barcode is read. So the barcode that in question is a QR response code. So quick response code, QR code. Uh, this code is scanned by a QR code reader, which is then processed by an app so that the data and the QR code are decoded. Question number 7a. So we had to label and uh, describe these different types of 
transmission. The first one is a simplex, so a single line with an, a single arrow. So data is sent in one direction only. For duplex, this is data is sent in both directions simultaneously. And for half duplex, we need to have two arrows since data is sent in both directions but not at the same time. 7b, where is uh, simplex used? The simplex is used in microphone to computer, sensor to computer, computer to speaker. Uh, where is duplex used for telephone calls, instant messaging, video conferencing? Part C, uh, what type of transmission is used in IC and USB? So in IC normally is parallel. So the bits for of the data is transmitted simultaneously over several data lines and it is used for internal transmission. For USB, the bits are transmitted one at a time along a single data line and they are used for external data transmission. So we can we could have said that for IC we make use of parallel transmission. Uh, for USB we make use of serial transmission. The, the purpose of IC is for internal data transmission. For the purpose of USB is for external data transmission. Question number 8a, so we had to describe what is SSL and uh, firewall. So SSL, this is a protocol that uses encryption, which make use of uh, public and private keys. For firewall, this helps to prevent unauthorized access, helps prevent hacking by acting as a filter for incoming and outgoing data. Uh, we had to give... Uh, six more ways that the company can uh, keep data safe. So for question 8b, we can encrypt the data so that it can be understood by those, cannot be understood by those not entitled to view it. Uh, make use of password, uh, virus checking software, spyware checking software, physical methods such as lock door, CCTV timeout, and so on and have access right that prevents users from accessing data that they do not have permission to view. Question number nine. So a cold storage is kept at constant low temperature using a sensor, microprocessor, and cooling unit. Explain how the sensor, the microprocessor, will maintain a constant low temperature. So we are going to send a data from the temperature sensor is sent to the microprocessor via an ADC. The microprocessor compares input values with stored values or preset values. If the temperature matches the stored values, then no action is taken. If the temperature value is too high or low, a signal is sent to the microprocessor to turn on, off, up, down the cooling unit via a DAC. Question number 10, part A. We need to draw a logic diagram based on x is equal to 1 if A is 1 and B is 1, or B is 1 and C is not 1. So the value for A is 1 means that we need to have a straight line, a straight line to an end gate, so straight line A to an end gate, and B is 1, so the value of the line for B also will be a straight line to this particular end gate. Or, so this output of this end gate will become an input for an OR gate, B is 1, so again a straight line for B, and C is not 1, so this uh, all straight line of B will go to an end gate, and the next input will be not C, which will then connect to our OR gate. So this is a final diagram of our question. Part B find the truth table of the logic statement. So we're going to do it uh, part by part. The first part, we need to find the value of A and B. So A and B, we have to multiply the values of A and B. Next, we are going to find the value of not C. So not C will be the inverse of the value of C. Then we're going to find the value of B and not C. So B and not C. After that, we're going to or the value of 1 and 3 to get the value of x. So x will become 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. Last question, question number 11. 
So here we have uh, to explain how the information stored in the company's website is requested by the customer, set to the customer's computer and displayed on the screen. So a web browser is used for this particular question. The user enters a URL, obviously in the web browser. The URL or web address contains the domain name. The internet service provider looks for the IP address of the company using the same domain name. Uh, yeah, the domain name is looked up for the IP address of the company. And the data for the website is stored on the web company's web server. The web server sends the data for the website back to the web browser. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe, leave a comment on how the ch channel can be improved and click on the thumbs up. Until then, see you next time.